What's up YouTube, Mike here again, and today I wanted to do a review of the Bridge Air keyboard case, and this is for the iPad Pro. The particular one I'm looking at is for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. This is also available for the uh, 9.7 inch or just a regular iPad Air. It's a fairly simplistic keyboard, but as uh, I'll show you, um, it looks pretty good. But let's uh, dig deep in this and I'll give you a close up look at it. If you're looking for a premium keyboard for your iPad Pro, one that makes your iPad feel like a MacBook, then the Bridge is one of many options available to you. The Bridge is made of high quality aluminum and it comes in three colors, silver, space gray, and gold. It can match your iPad nicely depending on what color you have or your particular taste. I personally went with the space gray keyboard. It is a very thin and light design. The iPad is held in place by two little friction tabs and allows for 180 degrees of travel. However, once you get past a normal laptop angle, the hinges seem to be unable to actually hold the weight of the iPad. The hinge seems a little weak compared to the Zag Slimbook. This keyboard actually connects to your iPad via Bluetooth instead of the smart connector utilized by the Logitech Create or Apple's own keyboard. So the keyboard uses its own batteries, which should last only about three months. So you will, have, you will have to charge the keyboard with the included micro USB cable. Typing on this feels pretty nice. It's got great key travel along with the backlit keys with three levels of brightness. All of your standard shortcut keys are here along with a dedicated Siri button. When you close the keyboard, it of course offers no protection for the back of your iPad. There is, however, a little rubber nub on the two front corners to create a little space as to not scratch the screen. However, I would still add a screen protector just for added insurance. This keyboard retails for an astounding $189, which makes it the most expensive option so far, even outpricing Apple's own keyboard cover, which cost $169. The other two non-Apple choices are the Logitech Create case, which cost $149, or the Zag Slimbook, which cost $139. Comparing the three keyboards that I have, typing feels the same to me. With the Logitech, you only have one viewing angle, whereas with the Zag and the Bridge, you've actually got multiple viewing angles. However, the Logitech is the only one to actually utilize the smart connector, so you'll never have to charge it. All three of these have pros and cons. The most durable, but least attractive in my opinion, is the Logitech. I've run into some issues with the hinge and back cover on my Zag. I am going to have to return that one for a new one. The bridge, however, seems like it will be durable enough, but I don't have much faith in the hinge design being able to hold up the iPad after a few months. For me, it comes down to the price. $189 is in the ludicrous range for a keyboard, especially with all the options available. While I do like the look and feel of the bridge, I don't like it enough to warrant the price. So there you have it. That was a look at the Bridge Air and how it could kind of compare to what is currently available. Again, it is a good keyboard. I do like the design because it's very minimalistic. However, this thing retails for $189, like I already said. So. I think the price <clears throat> kind of makes this a pass. So my recommendation would be, unless you just got money burning a hole in your pocket, to pass on this. There are cheaper, better options out there. I showed you two, and then you've got Apple's own keyboard. But for $189, this is totally not worth the price because essentially you're not getting any protection for your iPad. You're just getting a keyboard, a $189 keyboard. So something to keep in mind. So unless you just got to have this, um, I would pass and wait for the price to come down or try a different alternative. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please go and do so. Thanks.